Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at questions 6 to 10 of the Junior Maths Challenge from 2018. If you're preparing for the Junior Maths Challenge, also take my free online course, uh, Get Ready for the Junior Maths Challenge. In that course, you can practice real questions from recent Junior Maths Challenge papers. Every question has a video hint, as well as a full video solution, and there are no ads or distractions like there are here on YouTube. Uh, sign up in the link below, no payment details required or, not, or anything like that, totally free of charge, so have a look at that now. There is also an upgrade course called Go for Gold in Math Challenges, and in that course you can learn about all of the techniques you need for the Math Challenges and practice on loads of original practice problems that I've made up there as well. But you can have a go at the free course first, it's a big course and it's very substantial and it'll really help you prepare uh, for the Junior Maths Challenge. So I really hope that I'll see you over there. One thing you notice here uh, that might be helpful is that 4 plus 7 is 11 and 6 plus 5 is 11 and whatever you make x here, it doesn't really uh, matter in terms of making this diagonal and this row uh, add up to the same total. It doesn't actually help us get x plus y here, but that idea we can apply to the square in the top right corner. So let's say I called this one z. You see, I could make the argument with this diagonal and this column here, because it must be the case that 6 plus 7 plus z is the same as x plus y plus z, right? So basically these two must add up uh, to the same thing as these two to make that diagonal and that column have the same total. So it must be here that x plus y is 6 plus 7, so x plus y is equal to 13. And the answer is D. 20 plus 18 is 38. And 20 times 18, I can just think of as 18 times 2 times 10 to get 360. Now, 360 minus 38 is uh, 330 minus 8, which is 322. But the answer is not 20, 322 here, right? We want the integers that are greater than 38 and less than 360. So we don't want to include 38 or 360. So you might just worry a bit about whether we have to like plus one or minus one or something from this answer. And uh, a great way of thinking about these sorts of rules is just to try it in a simpler case if you're not sure what the rules meant to be. So what, what would it be if it was just how many are there between 8 and 10? Well, there's only one, isn't there? Just nine. So the answer would be one if it was how many integers greater than 8 and less than 10. Right, and ten, but 10 minus 8 gives us 2. So actually this method of just subtracting the lower one from the higher one kind of over counts by 1. Right? So the answer here is not 322, but 322 minus 1, which is 321. And so the answer is B. So Jill scores this goal halfway through the second quarter of the teachers versus pupils netball match. So if we think about the whole match in quarters, let's just draw them out roughly. 1, 2, 3, 4 with time going forward here, um, then halfway through the second quarter would be uh, here, right? So if I actually split all the quarters in two, we can see that splits the game in eighths, right? So that means there's one, two, three quarters before this point where the goal is. And I read the question very carefully. It says, what fraction of the whole match remain to be played? So that's one minus three eighths, or you could just count one, two, three, four, five eighths that are left to be played. And the answer is D. In this question, uh, we're told the cost of restoring the Flying Scotsman was four million pounds, which is 500 times the cost of building this steam engine, which is a train in 1923. So how much did it cost to build? We need to do four million divided by 500. Now four million is a four with six zeros uh, after it. And if I divide that by 500, then uh, I can divide top and bottom by 100 here effectively cross out two zeros, and 40 divided by 5 is 8, so uh, we're just going to be left with uh, an 8 here with three zeros, so the answer here is C, £8,000. It says adding four of these five fractions together gives a total of one, and we want to work out which fraction isn't used. Uh, rather than you know trying all the combinations out and things here, what I'm going to do is just add together all the fractions and see how much bigger than one that is. That's going to be a lot faster, especially because we can see that they all have uh, 18 as an easy denominator. We can put them over. So a half is 9 eighteenths, a third is 6 eighteenths, a sixth is 3 eighteenths, a ninth is 2 eighteenths, and 1 eighteenth is just 1 eighteenth. So if I add all of these together, 
I get 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, that's uh, 21. So that's 3 18 more than 1, because 1 would be uh, 18 18 and so it must be 3 18 that's not included, and 3 18 corresponded to 1 6th, so the answer is C 1 6th. So I really hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, if you're preparing for maths challenges at any level, I've made free courses for all of the maths challenges. You can find links uh, in the descriptions below. Uh, click there and sign up to those now. No payment details required, uh, nothing like that. So you can sign up totally free of charge. There are some upgraded courses as well with some extra content if you really want to master the challenges you can sign up for those as well but there's loads over there uh, for free so i really hope that i will see you over there soon